Welcome to Season 5, New Dawn. I'm Alexi Christoffi from the Battlefield 2042 development team. This season is all about combined arms, a mix of infantry and vehicle gameplay, where working with your squad is imperative to defy all odds. First up, we're bringing a familiar squad management system that will allow you to manage and set up your squad with ease. Featuring a range of new features and interface, you'll be able to join specific squads and create new ones while passing on squad leadership. Now, onto our new map for Season 5, Reclaimed, where a battlefield of the past meets the world of 2042. Nearly three decades ago, the area found itself engulfed in global conflict and the region was decimated in its wake. Now, five years on from the year 2042, War has returned to reclaim the land. Set out at daybreak in the wilderness of Czechia, Reclaimed is built for combined arms warfare with six play spaces, waiting for you and your squad to defy the odds and come out on top. Break your way into flag A1, the crash site, and discover a derailed train with its surroundings built for vehicle and medium range infantry combat, designed to take out any larger enemies that come your way. Fight your way into flag B1, the landing zone, where the circular layout oozes epic close quarters combat. But keep your eyes on the skies, as the destruction of trees will open new sidelines for intense firefights. If your squad does their duty, you'll push to flag C1, an abandoned turbine area with an indoor space that offers mid to close quarters combat on the ground level, while its open roof brings vertical crossfire to the fray. Continue south to C2, the military warehouse, but watch your six, as this objective is a much tighter combat area. The interior offers large concrete pillars, separated by high shelves and low, indestructible covers, making two distinctive spaces to face any foe. Make your move on flag D1 to find the bunker, a forgotten area carved into a nearby mountainside. Its central room connects to a narrow corridor that offers close quarters combat, making it the grittiest area of play on the map. Stand your ground at flag E1, the silo, and the second vehicle layout on Reclaimed. It's recognizable from its four central towers and generous road metrics, making tank fights the order of the day. With its circular layout, you're guaranteed both fun and epic battlefield moments. The season is full of all new weapons and gadgets, focused on strengthening teamwork and helping you and your squad get out of a few tight spots. The XCE Bar is a high-precision bolt-action rifle. It has expanded attachment capability to accompany its stopping power, allowing you to quickly swap through attachment options to engage the enemy at various distances. On to a couple of old favourites from Battlefield 4. The weapons you loved back then, now looking and sounding better than ever. The GEW-46 is another bolt-action assault rifle, offering high stability with short burst fire, great for the medium-range environments that you'll experience across the reclaimed map. The BFP-50 is a powerful hand cannon, giving you another sidearm that dishes out heavy damage at close range. We know it's been highly popular due to its size, sound and power, and we just know you're going to love this updated version for the world of 2042. We've heard from you that you want parity across our vault weapons, so throughout Season 5, we'll be bringing you reworked versions using attachments and skins from Battle for 2042 across all vault weapons. At the start of the season, we'll be bringing you the M16A3 and the ACWR, the A91 and the M416, as well as the MTAR21 and the AEK971. Season 5 also brings a range of gadgets. The Spring Grenade is a smaller grenade that bounces into the air before detonation, causing plenty of damage to infantry enemies, while anti-tank grenades will detonate on impact against vehicles. Then finally, Mini Grenades, that can be thrown faster and further than regular ones. This opens up new possibilities for you by trading power for range and the amount you can carry. Season 5 brings with it two factions, one that's cutting edge, calculating and professional, versus a more survivalist group who are savage, independent and ruthless. You'll see this in the cosmetics available as you play through the Battle Pass. Some of the best we feel we've ever brought to Battlefield. From Falk's Regenerator skin at Tier 0, to Dozer's Overthrower skin at Tier 100. There's a whole load of items to unlock across 100 tiers of the free and premium Battle Pass, including cosmetics, XP boosters and the new premium seasonal booster. Plus, those that were Year 1 pass holders will also receive an epic skin and XP booster during the first two weeks of Season 5, as a thanks for continuing to play. Since Season 1, we've brought you reworked versions of all our launch maps. Our commitment with these reworks was to address the distance to travel between flags, the intensity of combat, sight lines, 
path towards objectives and cover. We're really proud of the work we've done to rework them all, and along with the five maps delivered with our seasons, and with the six available in Portal, we feel we have a real variety, allowing you to play the way you and your squad want to play. So later in Season 5, we'll be bringing you the final reworked map, Hourglass. The overall size of Hourglass has been reduced to keep combat focused. Cover opportunities have been added along the primary routes where you'll find the action. Get ready for intense cover to cover combat. You'll notice remnants of combat scattered across the map, increased military presence and new opportunities for cover through fortified positions. The village is now a fortified military base in the new starting location for breakthrough. If you look towards downtown, you'll notice the once pristine skyscrapers are now engulfed in flames. The arches have received a complete overhaul in this now war-torn zone. The bridge has collapsed, leaving a large crater and the new underground section has been added for more combat opportunities. Take combat to the new underground section below the arches, where you'll find momentary relief from the chaos outside. But beware, the enemy might be lurking around the corner. The underpass has been claimed by heavy combat and is littered with destroyed vehicles for intense close quarters action. The main road through Hourglass has received new fortified and military positions. The areas leading downtown have received new cover, which will help keep you safe during your assault. Downtown also sees new positions of cover. Expect tactical and intense combat while the enemy prepares for the impending assault. As with our previous seasons, we'll be bringing you a mid-season event. We're not going to spoil it today, you'll have to wait for a full reveal, but you're definitely going to experience the combined arms that Season 5 is all about. Along with the squad management system coming at the start, throughout the season we're bringing more quality of life improvements. We're updating the vehicle loadout to enhance their roles and characteristics on the battlefield, introducing new weapon stations, including thermal tech and heavy anti-air, and of course, continuing to bring weekly experiences to Portal. Longer term, we're continuing to work on the game beyond Season 5. We're committed to continuing the Battlefield 2042 journey, and are working through the best ways to bring new content and experiences for you all. Expect to hear more from us on what's planned in the coming months. That's it from me today. Let us know what you think of Season 5. We can't wait to see you on the battlefield.